Joining us once again this time on the phone is Solon Simmons from George Mason University. A uh, busy day in Washington, and we thank you once again for joining us. Is this thing sure. over now? It's much closer. You know, this is really helpful for Obama because what he was worried about is if it's going to be pushed to credentials, which would have made a really dirty fight, would have carried this uh, into a situation which may, could have made it more like a 1968. It doesn't look like it's going to happen now. Uh, ultimately, Clinton, uh, Obama wouldn't have li would have liked to have not had these seated at all, but this is good for him now that he looks like he's going to be the victor, because what he can now do is he can say, you were seated, you're now part of the process, let's unify, let's move forward together. Uh, previous to that, it would have been a difficult thing. So it looks like it uh, might well be settled in, uh, in, a, in a direction which is going to push it toward the nomination of Obama in the way that he would like. Um, at the end of it, though, there, there seems to be some anger in the room from uh, Hillary Clinton representatives who seem to suggest that they may challenge this uh, uh, party decision? Well, it could happen. And, I'm, and as I've said from the beginning, I think we can't ever count the Clinton campaign out of this. <laughs> and they have some real professional operatives. So we'll have to wait and see if they pull another rabbit out of their hat or not. Um, but it, it, on the whole, I'd say that this looks like it's settling down a little bit. There will be a lot of anger. And so now the healing has to set in. And so the healing process is going to be one of those cantankerous win-lose kind of identity politics situations. But, uh, but it looks like it might uh, be uh, moving forward. Um, also on a side issue, uh, this has to do with um, Barack Obama's church. I mean, by the end of this campaign, is uh, Barack Obama going to be an atheist? <laughs> Not at all. No, I think that it's kind of a sad situation in a way. Because that church in Chicago, although it's gotten such a bad rap from these, uh, these clips that we've seen, really has done some good in that community, and I think it was very meaningful for him. For him. Remember, he got uh, the uh, Audacity of Hope line from Reverend Wright, mm -hmm. the former priest, the former uh, pastor there. And it's, uh, and it's, and just, I think it's stylistic, because most of these statements are over the top. What really is difficult for people is the way in which they're said. And so I think that that's one of the things that's left out of this conversation. Uh, we'll see what happens. But ultimately, it's a, always sad when you feel you have to cut ties of that kind. On the line from Washington, uh, from George Mason University, Solon Simmons, uh, thank you very much again. Okay, thank you, Scott.